What is up YouTube? Today we're taking a look at one of the best weapons in the game, the Castoff 762. The Castoff 762 is one of the most versatile guns in the game and it can also be used in both Warzone and multiplayer, so I will be showing classes for both modes today. Let's go to the setups. For the absolute best Castoff 762, we're gonna be starting off with the Cronin Mini Red Dot for the Optic. You could also use the Slimeline Pro or the AIMOP V4. I see a lot of people using the AIMOP V4, but I will be sticking to the Cronin Mini Red Dot. For the stock, I will be choosing the FTAC Elite stock. It'll help with our recoil control and it'll only hurt our aim down sight speed by a few milliseconds, so you really won't notice it. Then for the rear grip, we will be picking the Demo X2 grip. It helps with our recoil control and it doesn't hurt our aim down sight time at all. Next is the muzzle where we will be picking the 8 point flash hider. The recoil mitigation stats on this thing are amazing, and the aim down sight speed reduction is not that bad. Putting this muzzle on makes the cast off 762 basically a laser. And then to mitigate the aim down sight speed reduction, we will be picking the FSS OLEV laser. You will have to be careful about this laser because it shows a beam when you aim down sight, but once you get used to it, it's no big deal. If you don't want the beam at all, then pick the Schlager Peck Box 4, but if you want the best possible stats, then the FSS OLEV laser is the play. Now for the tuning for the cast off 762, there's only a a few things that you want to tune. The optic of course you want to put it all the way up to far to minimize the visual recoil that you will experience. Then for the stock we will be tuning the weight up to plus 1.03 ounces to help with our aim walking steadiness. Then for the rear grip we'll be tuning the weight to help with our recoil steadiness by increasing it up to plus 0.81 ounces. And now the last attachment that you can actually tune is the muzzle and all that we will be doing here is increasing the length to help with our gun kick control to plus 0.05 inches. You can't really tune the laser so don't worry about that, but this is the best class that you will have for the cast off 762. All you really gotta do is control the recoil just a little bit and you'll notice how easily you can beam everybody with this thing. Try it out and let me know what you think. But now let me show you the best possible native cast off 762 that you can build that you don't need to level other weapons for. Let's begin with the barrel where we will be putting on the Castovia 343 barrel. It helps with our aim down sight speed and it doesn't hurt our recoil. Then for the under barrel, we'll be picking the Schlager Tango for the recoil steadiness at the small cost of a little bit of aim down sight speed. Then for the rear grip, we want to pick the Ivanov ST70 grip. These better grips you don't really unlock by leveling the 762, so we're gonna have to stick with the Ivanov ST70 grip. It will help with our flinch resistance, I just wish that we had better grips available. Then for the stock, we'll be using the KSTV RPK factory stock. You won't believe how many times it took me to say that. But aside from the really long name, it has really good recoil control and it'll only cost us a little bit as far as aim down sight speed. We really want to make the cast off 76 too, even more of a laser than it already is. Lastly, there's not really any good optics that you unlock by leveling the cast off 7.62, so I just recommend whichever optic that you enjoy the most that you've already unlocked or no optic at all. I will again be going with the Cronin Mini Red Dot. Now for the tune, we begin with the optic again where all we do is turn it all the way up to far for the eye position. Then on the stock, we want to increase the weight to help out with our aim walking steadiness up to plus 2.45 ounces. On the rear grip, we want to tune the weight again up to plus 0.0. 29 ounces. This should be 0.30, but the game wasn't letting me. Next, the under barrel is a little bit more complicated, and we actually want to decrease the weight to negative 0.46 ounces to help with our walking speed. And then on the length, we want to decrease that to negative 0.22 inches to help with our aim down sight speed. Last but not least, on the barrel, we want to tune the weight up to plus 0.27 pounds, and then decrease the length to negative 0.18 inches. Now, this might not be the best possible build for the cast off 7.62, but if you don't have any other really good attachments unlocked, then this is the best that you can probably do right now. And I will say, it won't let you down. Look at how easily you'll be able to beam anybody with the cast off 762, even though you might not have the best possible attachments. If this is the one that you're using, let me know if it does well for you. And now let's go to Warzone so I can show you the best that you can do for the cast off 762 in Warzone. And we're going to have a lot easier time because there's only a few attachments that you can really pick from because the rest are essential. For example, you will need a 40 round magazine in Warzone. If you don't have this, you're just not going to have enough bullets. Then for the ammunition, you really want to pick the high velocity ammo because although the cast off 7.62 has a pretty decent muzzle velocity, when you're talking about really long range shots, this is going to be a must. For the optic, I actually really enjoy using the AIMOP V4. For some reason, I just really like using it in Warzone better, but you can pick whatever else you want. Then for the laser, we'll also be picking the FSS OLEV laser. Again, if you don't want to have that beam showing whenever you aim down sight, then just use the Schlager Peck Box 4, but I do prefer 
prefer the FSS OLED laser. And lastly, for the muzzle, we're not going to be using the 8-point flash hider. We're going to be actually using the Tempest GH50. The stats on this thing are ridiculous for the vertical recoil control, which is very useful when you're talking about engaging targets at a distance. It's absolutely the best muzzle that you can put on for the cast off 762. And lastly, for the tuning, we'll begin again with the optic to the furthest eye position that you can have it at. You can't really tune the magazine or the laser, so we really just have to worry about the ammo here, for which we'll be increasing the weight up to plus 0.30 grams. It didn't let me, so I just left that at 0.29 grams. It'll help with our damage range, which is very useful in Warzone. Then on the bottom side, we'll be decreasing the load to negative 2.90 grains to help with our recoil steadiness. And lastly, for the muzzle, we really just want to worry about recoil stabilization here by putting up the weight to plus 0.26 ounces. Gun kick control won't be as useful this time. Now, if you're a Warzone player, let me know how this build does for you. I know that I've enjoyed using it in Warzone, so let me know in the comments down below. Now, let me show you a little bit of gameplay of the best possible build in multiplayer, because that is my thing, so that you can see the best possible cast off 762 in action. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful and you want to drop here, then leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next one. Owl out. All right, my aim is not the best today. I don't think I warmed up. Whoa, whoa, so this is how the game's gonna be today, but either way, in death, oh, no, ha, <laughs> another one, this keeps happening today, this is, uh, one of those hard team deathmatch games, that they speak about when they talk about SBMM, everyone is just next to each other, oh, whoa, window, well, I'm gonna ignore that for now, yep, there we go, that's what this gun is good for. Let me do this. Actually, that's probably a bad idea right now. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. Got him. And three guys total. So that's a little hard. I can't take three at once. But it's okay. We don't need to take three at once when we can just kill them individually. I'm sucking. Oh, wow, that was weird. Okay, got him. And two. And him. Gonna be one guy right there, isn't there? Yep. You had no idea where I was going. If I throw this there, is there gonna be someone behind that wall? Apparently not. But that doesn't matter, because I got him! Let's go! Go up here. And, and, oh my goodness. Okay, let me use my stim charge here. Because this guy needs to die. Got a V told this game. Let's go. 762, putting in the work. One here. Yep, that guy's still in the window. Now, what I do is I wait and I get him. Easy. You're not showing up, are you? Okay, my teammate should be able to get him, I think. He runs at him. Yep, there we go. There's this. This? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's my window now. Let's go. What you gonna do? Okay, yeah, he's gonna throw a drill, drill charge. That's what he's going to do. Got him. This thing has no recoil, as you can tell. It's amazing. Oh! Oh, there's a guy here. Wait, there's two guys here? I think there's a third, too. Okay, no. Not yet. I didn't see him. It's okay. Window! No! I was going to say this window's mine, but it's not. Yeah, I can. Uh, I shouldn't be challenging that. I'm gonna wait here until I get my health back real quick. Do this. Now I get to run over here again. Uh, who's Flash? Yep, this guy's. Yep, he wasn't expecting that now, was he? Whoa! Come on, come on. Pop out, pop out. I know you want to. Yeah, that's right, he peeked me. Just realized something. What happened to my Vito? Did it ever do anything? I'm not sure. Whatever, we're still doing really well this game, although I not, might not be able to get that gunship. But it's okay, happens sometimes, you know? Just not the best game that I could have possibly had. We're still doing really well here. I do think you will truly enjoy this weapon. A very good one to use. Let me use my stim charge, that's what I have it for, and then get the other guy. Oh, he had a sniper rifle too, I'm surprised he didn't just get me. No one here. I got another UAV. Guy probably thinks that I'm at the window, so now that I drop down. Oh no! 
Go into the window again. Let's go. This is my... Uh, let me just back it up real quick here. Yeah, buddy. He oh! That's not happening. You can't just spawn camp like that. Got him. Yep. Is there one gonna come out of here or nah? No, I guess not right now. Everybody's on this side right now, so let me go on my window. Not the flash. I can't see shit. Is gonna come out or no? Nah. He's, he's behind me. Yeah. No wonder. Wait, there was another guy in front of me too. There's just so many people. Let's... Alright, well, I didn't get the last kill, but it's okay. We still did really well. I hope you enjoyed. And now let me show you the rest of the class for that gameplay that I just did, just in case you might want to take some inspiration from this. First, we begin with our field upgrades, where we actually use Ammunition Box and Dead Silence. If you don't have Dead Silence yet, then just put on Battle Rage. It's very useful, and you get it really early. For my perks, I was using Battle Hardened, Scavenger, Fast Hands, and Ghost. If you don't have Ghost yet, then just use Phantom. But I highly recommend this perk package, especially because of fast hands and ghosts. Then for my lethal, I was using drill charge, and as you saw in that gameplay, it was pretty useful to have it. For the people that might be camping behind a wall or so, just throw this over there, you'll get them real quick. Steam charge to be able to just get back into the fight after a gunfight. And lastly, for the secondary, I was using the P890, my favorite pistol so far, with of course a Kimbo, 10 round magazine, the P890 double action trigger, and the X10 sidearm L400 laser. Don't worry about the optic, I just like how it looks. You can just replace that for something else. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I will out.